This unboxing video was originally recorded on November 3rd, 2021. I was holding out on releasing this video until I got around to getting this little TV fired up and the video on this little TV will be released tomorrow. We have another box of Soviet era electronics goodies. So this will be unboxing Soviet uh, Russian Electronics Video 2. This has become my new hobby is hoarding vintage Soviet electronics. And what's kind of really depressing is I can buy something from Ukraine or Russian Federation and I can get it shipped here faster than a first class letter. I think th I think I less than a week to get this here. So I guess as we turn into what they were and they turn into what we once were, we're changing places. So, ooh, double boxed. This right here should be pretty exciting. We have a cigarette lighter adapter here. Let's see what we have here. Start small and work your way up to the bigger stuff. Okay, these are. Uh, ceramic, tubular ceramic capacitors. So I guess this is picofarads. So these will be good for, well it'll be interesting to test the accuracy of these, but we have, what's this here, a little disc capacitors. Some nice detail on packing here. Got to wrap them in cellophane because when you wake in the morning, there's a hole in there somewhere. Let's see who gets that reference. Um, so 308, so-called 308. I believe I have one of these I was gonna try and convert this one to the the RFM band from the uh, lower FM band that they use okay let's see what we got here The radio. It's broken, but whatever. Okay, next. Let's 
see what this is. They said they were going to send me some parts. Some extra radio parts. Let me get this open. I'm really not sure what the deal is with wrapping old radios with cellophane, but who am I to question anything anymore? This is hideous. This looks like something General Electric would put out. God, it just has that cheapy plasticky thing going on but we got all the manuals so that's good okay and we got the original box that's got to be worth something isn't it oh these must these must be the orig the extra added radio parts okay very good Yes, definitely, because these tuning capacitors are a good thing to have. Lots of, uh, this is silicon right here, these little orange transistors. Uh, this is silicon too, a little orange transistors, so very nice. Oh, these are germanium. Uh, it's good to have these transformers. Very good. Extra parts. Oh, maybe there's more stuff in here. What do we have here? I'm trying. Is it upside down? How about this? It's kind of interesting. It's the kind of thing you where to your uh, $25,000 a plate Democratic fundraiser. All right, get your Canadian installed. Okay, what do we got here? More cellophane. Jesus, this is hideous. But that's why I bought it, of course. Reflecty Doodle. Why? Wow, this is in like mint condition. When was this style popular? Was this like 80s? It's the kind of thing you'd turn on and hear missing persons walking in LA coming out of. So this is, see this is the, this is the other FM band, 65.8 to 74. So I think you can modify these, but you probably lose a bunch of sensitivity. 
Does this even do our broadcast band? Yeah, CB. What I can CB. I might have to open this. This just looks hideous. Okay. Hideous is good. I was just talking to Peter about this. And the format that they used was CCAM, which is sort of like PAL, but CCAM was a color. And I was like, well, I, you know, I have a standards converter, but I don't know how to modulate where we have a channel that can work. And I don't know if my modulator will take PAL and convert it into something usable with my NTSC Blonder Tongue Modulator, I don't know if you can put PAL into it and have anything usable come out. So that should give you a clue what's here. Um, a long time ago I had an older one and I didn't even attempt to make it work because at that time I did not have a standards converter. Please don't tell me this is wrapped in cellophane, too. Oh, it is. Oh, let's see what else we got in here before I deal with that. postcard. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Well, we got pieces of a schematic here. is interesting it's like cut and paste Have to take Google Translate to this must be the specifications here the 23 centimeter measured diagonally Looks like it does do two bands, 21, so 12, 1 to 12, and of course Peter, he, uh, some of you will know him, a few of you will know him from, he's uh, very, very sciencey. Uh, looks like their channel 21 lines up pretty closely with NTSC 14 so so if I put my modulator on 14 we, I, I might be able to fine-tune in on their 21 a PAL signal be neat if it just had a composite input maybe it no no that's 12 that's the supply voltage oh look at recommended viewing different distance one to five meters one to one point one to one point five meters geez that's like a computer monitor. Anyway, we can. I'll, I'll do a. 
a dedicated video on this guy. Uh, the nice thing is, is I can run this on 12 volts. I don't have to worry about 210 or 208 or 230 or whatever they had. Ah, there's a hole in there somewhere. So here it is. I see you. Channel 1 through 5, 6 through 12, 21 through 40. And it actually feels like it made it <laughs> without having being broken. Um, and it was very reasonably priced. Of course, they've shut off analog in that part of the world also. So it was very reasonably priced reasonably priced the shipping was very reasonably priced and it was very respectably packed so it made it it is a little it's like about a nine inch I don't know what it, what it said it was there but um, we will do a video on this and we will try and get this to work and we will open it and inspect it, but uh, very cool. So again, like last time in part one, this is how you know the party was good right here when you have a mess to clean up. So I'm going to lay these things out and we'll take a look at them again in order and comment on which one you'd like to see worked on first, except the TV, we know that one's going to get worked on first. She is extremely old and I don't know if I've mentioned this before but she's like completely deaf and you can't get anywhere near her. She uh, she'll come close when she wants food but you know that's uh, Kind of a standard thing with all living things, I guess. Um, here's what we got. We have, of course, this is going to be the most requested thing. A youth... I'll feed her in a second. Um, we have our little TV. Of course, this will have a dedicated video trying to get this to work. Uh, we have this radio here. And then we have the SoCal 308. And then we have the 80s goodness here. And like I said, this is just total, like, new wave type motels, uh, new world order, um, yeah, missing persons, uh, men at work. It's all right there. I mean, that's just the image of it right there, like post-disco cheese. So anyway, this is part two. Uh, comment on which one of these you like, and we'll try and do a video on that. And, uh, yeah, let me feed this unit over here. Or is it a device? Whatever, it gets noisy when it's hungry. So, um, And like I say, this will run off 12 volts, so that's... This is a very good thing. It's interesting that this is not spring-loaded.